welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you are new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today's DIY I am really excited about because I've had so many stinking requests for this. And this request is for a Dollar Tree non-farmhouse DIY. So many of you have been sticking with me, although farmhouse decor isn't necessarily your decor, you are sticking with me because you like the idea or the concept that I'm bringing to you. And that honestly is my intent behind bringing to you the DIYs that I bring to you. And yes, there are a lot of farmhouse DIYs that I bring to you, but I bring them to you in the farmhouse decor because that is my decor style. That is the style that I use use here in my house. And when I do these DIYs, if I do most of them in a non-farmhouse decor style, then I can't utilize them here in my house. And sometimes they're a DIY that I really like that I want in my house. And if I do it in non-farmhouse decor, then I need to make a second one. And honestly, that just isn't very cost effective for me. It's not very budget friendly for me to have to do two DIYs for one DIY video that I'm bringing to you. And so honestly, my idea is that when I bring these concepts or these ideas to you, that so many of them are versatile, that you can change the style, you can change the color, and you can make it a non-farmhouse DIY. And so what I'm gonna do from now on is when I do bring some of my farmhouse DIYs to you that are DIYs that you can very easily change to your decor, I will give you suggestions. And so that way you are benefiting from maybe me giving you an idea that you might not have otherwise had and I'm benefiting because I can still do it in the farmhouse decor and use it in my house. So anyway, let's jump into this DIY because I am really excited about this one. Like I said, this is a non farmhouse DIY that I am bringing to you. And at the end, I will definitely be showing you my twist and my version of it that I transformed it into to fit it into my farmhouse decor. And this DIY was inspired by something that I had just recently seen on TV and I loved it and wanted to bring it to you putting my own Dollar Tree twist on it. So let's jump into it. Let me show you what I have in mind for this DIY because just about everything you need for this DIY, you can get at the Dollar Tree. From the Dollar Tree, I picked up one of these larger glass carafes that they sell, two of the smaller ones, a two pack of these frosted light bulbs, one of these clear globe decor bulbs. I'll also be using some of this diamond wrap, some spray paint in the color of brilliant silver and matte white. Make sure to head on over to Kayla's channel this week where she is showing you some of her artistic skills. The link to her video is in the description box below. I'm gonna start this DIY off by taking the Krylon spray paint in the color of matte white, and I'm gonna give all three of these glass carafes a nice coating of this spray paint. Then taking my three light bulbs, using my Krylon spray paint in the color of Brilliant Silver. This is a spray paint I already had on hand from a previous DIY. An alternative to this spray paint is using Martha Stewart's metallic silver. You can find this at Walmart, Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby for under a dollar. I'm gonna put a nice coat of this silver paint on my light bulbs. Now using this silver diamond wrap, I'm gonna wrap it around the neck of each of these carafes. Leaving this bottle with such a subtle touch of elegance. For the larger bottle, I'm gonna add two rows of the diamond wrap because the neck is a bit longer. For this next step, I will be using E6000's Quick Hold. If you wanna use regular E6000, you can. If you wanna use hot glue, you can do that too. I'm gonna take and place the glue on the inside of this carafe, being a bit generous with the glue. Then I'm gonna take my light bulb, 
that I painted silver and I'm going to place it inside the carafe. For the smaller jars, I'm using the smaller light bulbs and for this bigger jar, I'm using the bigger globe bulb to keep it proportionate with the size of the jars. And there you have it. Let's take a look at these. It was really just that simple. And would you just look at how elegant this decor piece is. These are so beautiful and so elegant. I can hardly stand it. And the best part is they were so budget friendly and they don't look like something that you made using Dollar Tree items or light bulbs for that matter. Now watch how I transform these into something farmhouse chic so I can use them in my home. To transform these, I will be using this decorative nautical rope that you can find at the Dollar Tree, some twine, these buttons, and again, I will be using Krylon spray paint in the color of matte white. I'm gonna start off by taking the diamond wrap off of each of these. Then I'm gonna take my white matte spray paint and I'm gonna spray paint all of the light bulbs, the silver part of these jars, white. And this wouldn't be one of my farmhouse creations without one of my twine flowers. So using the thinner twine, I'm going to wrap it around my fingers several times to the thickness that I'm happy with. Once I've gotten the thickness I'm happy with, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to tie this bunch off in the middle. I'm going to do this three times for this size flower. Then I'm going to separate all of my loops, opening up my flower, giving me petals to a twine flower. Then just simply hot glue them on top of each other, giving us a quick and easy to do rustic farmhouse twine flower. And for the two smaller bottles, I'll be doing a smaller twine flower using just three of my fingers and only two bunches per flower. And I found these buttons at the Dollar Tree, so I figured I'd find three matching brown buttons to finish these flowers off with. Then just hot glue them to the middle of the flower, giving us this stinking cute twine flower. Aren't these so easy to do? And the outcome is so rustic farmhouse chic. I love it. Then using Dollar Tree's decorative nautical rope in place of the diamond wrap, I will be hot gluing this rope around the neck of each of these jars. Then finishing it off with my twine flower. And there again, how quick and easy is this DIY and the outcome is so stinking amazing. I love it in both decor styles. And there you have the same bottles, only now they are rustic farmhouse chic. I love how this DIY is so versatile that it can be made in the retro modern glam decor style or this farmhouse chic. In my opinion, these really are such a fun decor piece. And there you have it. How stinking cool are these? I really love the retro modern feel of this DIY and it is so budget friendly. And of course, I loved being able to transform it into something that I can use here in my house, putting a bit of twine on it, giving it that farmhouse touch. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 2000 likes because those thumbs up really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.